Hey Tactical Painter, welcome back out to the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Today we're going to be working on a custom order. We got an order in from a customer. They wanted me to make them a pink and purple pen blank and then team it up with a gunmetal Sierra pen kit. So stick around and I'll show you how we cast up this blank for this customer and then we will turn it up and get it together for this gunmetal Sierra pen kit. So stick around, I'll show you how it's done. They want pink and not just any pink they want hot pink and purple so we are gonna get this cast going here let's see you know I busted this box out the other day with my brother here and he's looking at all these pearl X powders that I've got and he goes oh look you finally have found a reason to play with glitter and I said yes I finally have found a manly craft that allows me to play with glitter so let's see, we've got uh, Flamingo Pink, number 684, Pearl X powder there. So we'll do Flamingo Pink. And we're going to do, hmm, Duo Violet? Duo Violet and Brass. Well, we'll save that one to the side. Let's see if there's any other better purples in here. Ooh, Lavender, that's a nice one. Let's see, what do those look like together? Those look pretty good. I think we'll go with that. We'll go with Lavender. And we're going to go with Flamingo Pink. Okay, today we're going to be using Slow Cast Clear instead of just the standard. It's going to give me a little more time, plus I'm kind of low on the standard at the moment. And so we will get 60 grams measured out here. So we're going to put 15 in each cup, and that's going to be a total of 60 grams, which is what size our silicone mold is that I made. There we go, close enough. Alright, because this is the slow, I actually have about 10 minutes, and the reason why I want the slow for this one is with Pearl X powders, you don't always know like if it's actually going to be more transparent, less transparent, and so you kind of got to add a little more, add a little more until you can't see all the way into it or through it anymore, so we'll get these going. Now we will go on to adding our pigment. So let's add a healthy scoop of the pink flamingo or flamingo pink. Drop that right in there. Now right, I'm just going to hold this up to the light, see how see through it is. And it is still a little see through, so I'm going to add a little more. Get that mixed in. All right, that looks a lot better. All right, we'll use the clean end of our stick and we'll add in the purple. I think I'll add a little more. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can definitely kind of see into that. So I'll add just a touch more in there and I think we'll be good. Yeah, I can't see into that anymore. All right, let's get that poured. Start with purple. Add some pink. Go back and forth with it.
And I don't want to stir it up too much because I don't want the pigment powders to intermix a whole lot. But I am just going to take a popsicle stick and just kind of get those intermixed together. I want some, some swirls going through. Pull it up a little bit. I really want the purple and the pink to kind of intermix. All right, let's go get that into our pot. All right, as you can see, bubble level is level. So we'll take that out of there. Set that down, put our lid on. Make sure all those are good and tight. Put this on, open her up. There we go, shut her down. And we'll let that sit overnight. See how this pink and purple blank turned out. Pop it out of the casting, or out of the mold. That looks pretty neat. Let's see if I can get this to focus on that. Definitely see a distinction between the blue or between the purple and the pink, but it does look like it mixed a little bit in there while it was sitting and resting. So it'll be interesting to see what it does when we get inside. Looking at the sides of it, you can definitely tell there are definitely like purple shade in the pink. So this will be a fun one to turn. That is really neat. I really love how that looks. I wouldn't say that I would personally carry one, but this is a pretty neat blank. I look forward to turning it up. We are going to measure out and see exactly where we need to cut this blank in order to have enough length. So we are going to cut it right here. We'll give ourselves a little extra room. I'm gonna mark this side with an X because that's gonna be our side that goes away. All right, we don't have any blowout or anything on the back side. Front side looks good. Got a real nice clean hole all the way through there. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can certainly see it. it. The inside looks really neat. Let me see if I can get a light in there for you. Maybe you can see what I'm looking at, but it's got some really cool swirls and depth to the colors inside there. I'm looking forward to this one. I know, I said I was looking forward to it. It's purple, it's pink, but you know what? It's actually kind of neat. So I'm looking forward to see how it turns up and see what it looks like. So let's just keep going here. Okay, well we got our pink and our purple blank cut and drilled, ready to be glued together. First thing that we need to do in order to glue this in is we need to take our barrel and roughen it up. To do that, we've got some 100 grit sandpaper. We just take this, turn it around a bunch of times inside and get that surface nice and roughened up because a shiny barrel just is not any good. All right, we'll hit that with some activator just to seal it in place. And then we will come back in a minute. We will backfill from the back side of this in order to make sure that it is fully sealed up. So there was a slight gap in between the barrel and the blank, and so we just take a little thin CA that I've got in this little bottle here, and we just put a drop at a time into the blank, and we just watch that disappear right into that little crack that is formed between the two surfaces. And we just keep doing that until all of a sudden we see that it's not soaking up anymore. It starts to gather around the rim of the tube. Yep, 
Yep, most definitely full. It's not soaking up into the blank anymore. All right, we'll hit that with some activator. We'll let this sit overnight. And we will come back and we will deal with this another day. Okay, we got our pink and purple blank chucked back up here. We're going to go ahead and barrel trim this and get it sitting flush and, and 90 to the brass tube. And then we'll flip it around to the back side and then we'll be ready to turn it. All right, there we are. Good clean face there. Let's do our back side here. All right, good clean face there. Good clean face there. We're all set to turn this up. Okay, so we got our pink and purple blank chucked in here with our Gatsby uh, bushing. So we're going to go ahead and get this turned down. Got the lathe speed turned up to 3700 RPM. And let's get it going. Alright, let's get this cleaned up and we'll get this polish going. Okay, we've slowed our lathe speed down to 800. So we're going to go ahead and get this polished up. I'm going to start off using some uh, green uh, polishing paper. This stuff's a little coarser than 1500, but a little softer than 600 grit sandpaper. And then after this we'll go to the polishing pads. We've got our lathe speed turned down to about 800 RPM. Be a little bit less aggressive on it. Let's get this going. Okay, now all we got to do is hit it with a little bit of Dr. Kirk scratch free and then this will uh, just take out any of the last little remaining buff and polishing marks and really just give it a nice beautiful wax shine finish which will last a long time. Probably put a little more on there than I needed but that's okay. We're going to buff this off after we let it sit for a moment. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, time to assemble up this gunmetal pink and purple Sierra pin kit. So it's real simple, the Sierra kits are. All you have to do is decide where do you want your clip to go. And on this blank, there's a spot here, right there, where you can kind of see the brass through a little bit. And so I'm just going to make a decision how I want it to go because I want my clip to cover that portion up slightly. So I'm going to put it right in the middle of that section that you can see the brass through it and that will leave all the rest of it looking really nice. So we just press that part in. Rotate it and then press it in again. And the last portion is really simple. You just take your spring, 
put it onto your ink refill and you can kind of see on the spring that there's a section that is smaller than the other portion one end is smaller than the other is what I meant to say you just press that end into the ink and you can kind of tell see it kind of holds on to it there then you just push that into place here thread in your transmission and then just simply press those two parts together and there you go that pen is done that looks pretty nice we'll get you a close-up view here we got our pink and violet all swirling in there together that looks pretty good nice gunmetal it's a great combo even though it is pink and purple I would say that is a win I like that pen it's very nice looking very unique Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today for this one-of-a-kind custom order for this customer. It was truly a pleasure to make this for her. If you like what you saw here, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Hit that subscribe button right in the center of your screen. Thanks for so much for joining me out in the shop. This is Suits Crafting signing out.